Okay, we're going to look at the temporal logic. It's a part of logic involving time, the logic of time. And first thing we see is this clock. And this painting is by Dali, Salvador Dali, which basically shows that time is fluid. And there's another representation of clock. And time is basically we have time of 1 to 12 hours and then date and everything is measures time from 1 to 3 linearly or non-linearly we'll see all the examples as we go along the first question to answer think about is is there time or is there only the present the past doesn't exist the future doesn't exist it's all in your mind only thing you have is the present but you need to reason about time to basically plan and to think of things that are not really existing but that that did exist in the past or will exist in the future. Let's start with some examples. Tem first of all we have the simple example of temporal ambiguity. What does that mean? So let's look at example. Anu says we'll meet on Saturday or Sunday unless it rains. How do you break this up? Logic it means if it does not rain then we'll meet on Saturday or we'll meet on Sunday. X or means uh, she's not we're not sure whether she's going to meet on Saturday and Sunday or only one of the days and which day is it going to rain and when does it rain it's not clear when it rains she talking about okay so there's a lot of temporal ambiguity in the English we use and usually people figure out from the context what is meant but it can lead to a lot of ambiguity when you are not very clear especially in contracts and stuff like that so time has basically all through f history of time uh, we had an arrow of time the arrow of time is continuously going from the past and there's a and, and there's a now the point and there's a, a, a tree of futures possible futures and it seems we have a choice or do we have a choice in which future to choose the past is gone and is fixed and there are multiple futures and we can choose one of the futures so this is the uh, regular representation of time it's called the arrow of time it just goes in one direction and that comes from physics also in physics basically the physics basically are not really sure that time is going forward or backward it can go backwards also but we never see go backward and what does it even mean to go backward and the, the general definition is entropy increases if you leave anything uh, with time the disorder will increase if you have a ball of uh, a bowl of water and you put sugar in it or salt in it it will dissolve it will never happen that the the, the bowl of uh, sweet water will uh, go in the reverse direction and then sugar and water will separate out ever it does happen from the statistical point of view it could happen but it never happens because the probability is so low anyway so that's the physics part of it and you can read more about it if you go on to google or wikipedia and then there are two kinds of time one is an interval and there's a point logic point means you have a point and if you say one o'clock two p.m. is a point and interval is a class is from two p.m. to four p.m. that's a time interval and point would be say bus leaves at five p.m. so you have an interval and then you have a point so you have logic involving ta time intervals and logic involving time points so let's look at example I will submit the homework tomorrow if I finish it tonight how many time points are there in this sentence first of all there's a now when you're uttering the sentence you always uttering a sentence in now it could also be in the past and there's an arrow of time and tonight is in the future hopefully and when you plan to do the homework and again it's an interval at some point tomorrow you'll submit the homework so you can see there are two time points and there's an interval in between so basically you can try to write logical formulas or draw timelines to take the sentences yesterday she said someday I will buy umbrella if it keeps raining now the first time point is when she said it she said it yesterday and yesterday is with reference to the person who's reading it today so today I'm reading this sentence and I'm talking about somebody who said this yesterday and she's talking someday in the future of yesterday someday I will buy umbrella and if it keeps raining when, where, when is it raining 
it was raining yesterday and maybe before that and when it if it keeps raining from yesterday onwards still by umbrella let's example one anu told bina that she will win a lottery if she never committed a sin so the fall with which she is she talking about so probably anu is talking about herself that she refers to anu maybe not bina we're not really clear about that also she'll win a lottery in the future and when did she not commit a sin in the past or the future at the point she's saying it and and from the point before that it's a really complicated sentence out here the time is not clear and it's not clear what sin is also either and what a lottery is so this is all the ambiguity that we'll encounter in english and let's look at example number three chetan worried that if he that he had forgotten to close the tap the house would be flooded so already the sentence is in the past chetan already worried worried means in the past tense and it's about another guy called chetan and then it's a it's a counterfactual that means it's not really we know he doesn't know if it's really true or not about his past if he has forgotten to close the tap then he's thinking the house may would be flooded he's not even sure about the past so the, you can even have a past in which uh, you're not sure whether it's true or false okay that's a really complicated sentence so we have modalities what are modalities so we have the modality always which is a box operator and then always how do you what does always mean always could mean daily weekly monthly yearly so these are cycles time usually occurs in cycles like every day every hour every minute and the dual of always is sometimes which is a diamond operator rarely once diamond all represents the same thing in the future sometime in the future something will happen and there's also the operator next with a o oh, tomorrow yesterday next week and then you can augment the logic with the until operator something will happen until something else happens so you can say a until b or a while b while a do something else so these are temporal operators in this context then we are sequencing operators and those are defined using the then before after later earlier next are they all the same may let's look at example of three sentences mary turned the car and then she stopped and number two mary turned the car before she stopped before stopping the car mary turned and how do you write it logically just to clarify what is being said say mary turned the car and next mary stop so we will be clear if the three sentences mean the same thing or different thing okay think about it and let's look at an example of it until he ran until he reached home he kept running till he reached home so the timeline would look like, look like this 1 pm to 2 pm he is running and then at when he reached home he stopped okay so then repeating events which are the, the always operator daily it rains daily does it mean once a day twice a day we don't know it always rains non stop it's not clear again it never rains is a dual of always it's so not always always not raining and the box operator used for always box rains means always raining and is understood from the context what always means the which time line you're talking about time interval always daily or monthly or yearly and always not rain is the same as never and no that not rain is same as dry it's dry and a dual of always is the sometimes operator sometimes it rains is the same as it rained once in the past and a diamond is a notation for uh, sometimes sometimes it rains and other times it is dry so you write like the diamond rains and diamond not rains it means at different times they're talking at different times sometimes in the future it rains sometimes in the future it doesn't rain so it doesn't really mean at the same time and let's look at a dual duality of always and sometimes it is not always raining not always raining is the same as sometimes it is not raining sometimes it is dry and the dual of always not rain is the same as it's not the case 
it ever rains which is the same as always dry is not sometimes rains which is the same as never rains and then you can uh, the double negation is like uh, the, the not of always not is the same as sometimes not always dry sometimes is the same as sometimes raining and always raining is same as it's not the case is always dry so so let's look at some difficult questions about time does the past exist does the future exist are there multiple futures or only one future can we choose a future is it fixed by the laws of physics or do we have free will we we'll look at it later on as it decided is a choice in which futures we can pick these are questions that need to be answered and they're not really right answers or wrong answers but you need to think about it and let's look at some proverbs time is such an important concept in planning that it's been there for time immemorial and look at this never say never that means things are always possible and the second one is time and tide what time and tide wait for no one time moves on whether you're ready or not time will go and nobody will wait things happen a stitch in time saves nine this basically says that you have to do things in order quickly if you don't do it in time it takes a lot more effort and how does this relate a bird in a hand is worth nine in a bush what does that mean how does it relate to time you think about it and the next one is don't cry over split milk spilt milk that means things that are gone you don't have any control over you can only control the future not the past and the way to control the future is to act in the present not really act in the dream about the future we'll look at that later on in uh, lectures on philosophy of time thank you